Tracy from Our Lawn Games, and we're here to talk about Disney, Loungefly, Box Lunch Money, the works. Okay, so um, let's get started because uh, there's just so much to get through. So I have not made a video in a bit, like a, almost two weeks, because, um, you know, we're getting ready for our World on One Games uh, Star Wars Loungefly exclusive. And that, it, you know, it's a lot of extra work and uh, we're happy to be doing it. In fact, we're super excited for the, um, the launch. And you guys, if you are paying attention to us on Facebook and Instagram, we have been posting hints, hints as to what those infamous bags could be. Some people I think already know, but the excitement is definitely building. Um, I know that I can't wait because I don't have these bags. And there's an irony to that. And you'll have to ask me what that is after the first. So, um, and then of course today, today, um, LA Style Rush, they had their ex newest exclusive, the Mickey Mouse bat all over print that glows in the dark. So that was today at two. So if you missed it, I'm pretty sure they're going to do a restock. So you should be okay. Um, and it had a matching wallet. Um, and then like a week ago, they did, um, Lucifer and I scored two, yes, one for me and one possibly to trade. It just depends because certain bags, um, I use a lot. And so I, if they're really, um, like I love them so very much, like I do my sequins collection, those babies don't leave the wall. I just don't trust people <laughs> to not touch my bag. <laughs> You're like, bumping it and I'd be like, I'm going to hurt you if you touch my bag because I'm serious. Like you, if you're a collector, you know how much you paid. Um, you know what the investment is and you know that you want to keep it pretty. Now, does that mean that I will never take it out of the house? No, no. Um, I do, uh, don't make fun of me. Don't laugh, but I do photo shoots with my bags. Um, and so they do leave the wall. They just don't go to the parks or somewhere where I know there's going to be too many people and we're going to be a lot of bumping and hustling. Um, so, um, it's, if I could go back to when I first started, um, collecting, I definitely would have probably picked up a couple of, um, extras on the sequins collection just because so I could wear them at one and then have one for the wall. Uh, so that's kind of my policy now. I always get two bags because either A, I'm going to wear one and put one on the wall or B, I'm going to keep one obviously and save one for a trade. Um, I know some people get kind of pissy about, you know, oh, you should only get one. And it's, uh, the difficulty with that is there are certain bags that are very, very hard to get. And so the only way to get them is to, to purchase the exclusives and then trade for them because you know, let's see, what's a good example? The most recent exclusive, I think that was super popular, um, was like the, um, the Darth Vader, um, you know, the all over print that came out or the Bambi, uh, and not, you know, like not enough people got it. And some people got, you know, more than one. And I'm fine if you got two, not a big deal. Because what if you have like a sibling or you have a niece or a nephew or if you wanted to trade? Um, I'm perfectly okay with that. You know, I don't have an issue. But some people, they did, it bothered them. Um, and then, oh, then there was those people who bought like four because they wanted a certain placement. And, <clears throat> and I understand the concept of placement. But I also understand that as a business person, it does not make sense for me as the retailer to sell you four bags that you will only keep one, maybe two of because you're going to kick the others back after you decide you don't like the placement. Um, and I'm glad to see that more small shops and retailers are putting a limit um, to how many bags that a person can get. And they are saying they are not taking them back for placement issues because that's not when you buy a bag unless you're given the option to pick placement and you've chosen that, um, it's a waste of everyone's time and money, more the retailer than the customer, because you, when you send it back, get your money back, not for just the bag, but for the shipping, and that hurts a retailer twice. Well, three times if you count the bag, they didn't get to sell to begin with because you bought them and kicked them back. 
plus the shipping on both ends because again you are getting refunded the retailer still had to pay that shipping that they charged you for and now they were giving that money back to you so they are being charged twice because they still have to pay the initial shipping to you and from you um, so that's a, that's money out of their pocket and um, and that's hard uh, being a small business person I understand how that you know can be difficult uh, so like I said I, I did buy two um, of the Lucifer bags uh, one to keep um, and if I really love it, it'll be one to keep uh, to use and one to put on the wall. If I don't love, love it, it's going to be one to keep one to trade because that's what this is about. Now, people who buy four bags, keep one and then resell them at ridiculous, what we call eBay prices, uh, especially if it's a new bag, even if it is, um, you know, a, a limited release or limited edition, I think that, that there should be like a cap especially in the first 30 days after it comes out before people start making them uh, crazy prices like we're gonna see the dopey bag today and people are already going nuts because you know there was such a limited amount um, I was lucky um, initially I did not get it um, my 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 husband actually logged in uh, and he got it for me. So when it came, I was completely surprised because I was like, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. He got it for me. Good husband, right? So, um, it, like I said, it's just one of those instances where it's very hard for people to get things when everyone is buying up the supply and not, you know, being fair about it. Um, so let's move on to the bags. Woo! So let's see. What should we start with? What should we start with? I think... The Nike Clouds. Okay, so I never had this bag, but I had seen it and I was like, oh, I would really love to have that bag um, because it's it's simple, but it's very cute. You know, it's it's just not crazy. It's a good print um, and I really love the colors. Blue is a fabulous color. It goes with just about anything. Um, and uh, like when you're making your outfits, it, trust me, I have shoes to even match this bag. Um, so I was very happy to get it. <clears throat> Pardon me, need water? Mmm. It's got to stay hydrated. So, it has a beautiful print. Obviously, um, there's not just Mickey in the clouds, it's also in the stars. So, if I get up close here, you can see the little star formations of the Mickey heads. Especially, see right there. Um, and I do like that. Um, so it is, you know, it's very nice. Um, it's a very connected sort of print and I really do like that. Um, I love that they do a very good job with the, um, going from different hues of blue because that's a reality in the sky and I like that realistic look. It's very attractive. Um, and of course it has the traditional pocket. Love that. We have our metal plate. We have our gold hardware. Let's have a look to see about the lining. <laughs> Oh good, it does have a custom lining. Sometimes when you know it was like a box lunch bag, you don't know if it's going to have that custom lining or not. So, I mean, it's a crapshoot. So it's cute. It's the black with a little white Mickey's everywhere, which is appropriate. And let's see, no inside pocket there, but I bet there's probably one in the back. Oh, no, no, in oh, no internal pockets at all. That's a bummer. That's okay though. It does have side pockets, which you guys know are a big thing for me. Um, and then of course we have our dark blue straps, more gold hardware, um, and lots of Mickey's on the back. Um, I do like this, that it's the dark blue on the bottom. Um, I've mentioned it before, you know, you tend to put your bags down, um, a light color or a print that has white in it is going to get damaged really easily and stained. This solves that problem. And of course it goes well color wise. So there we are. That's the cloud Mickey. Um, so if you did not get it, um, there there are ways there are ways uh and not just through you know finding someone in the uk who will send it to you um i did not know this i did not know this but there are um it's called like we ship it so essentially um it you know say you're in the united states you're buying something from the uk or you're buying something from france um but they won't ship here um, you can use we ship it and they are they act like a conjunction so that um, you make sure you get your package uh, and technically they're utilizing an overseas address 
Um, I have never used it before. Uh, actually, it was a customer brought it to my attention. I thought, oh, that's interesting. Um, I happen to have uh, military friends and family stationed overseas that were kind enough to pick up mine for me. I know, I know, I know. See, there's definitely benefits to, to being uh, ex-military and, uh, and having family that still is. So now we are moving on. What else do I also have for you? Oh, yes. Okay, so this was, um, I want to say, I'm going to feel bad if I get it wrong. Circle of Hope. Circle of Hope. Let me double check that because I don't want to mess it up. You know, it's, when it's an exclusive to a small shop, you don't want to be like, oh, well, it's this one. You know, and then it really had been like Books A Million, which I'm pretty sure it was Circle of Hope. But just to make sure, because one does not want to put one's foot in one's mouth. So let's see. So we go to Circle of Hope. Circle of Hope. Boutique. So um, when you go to small shops, you want to um, go to their main websites and then you will see at the top, there's usually pre-orders or exclusives. So that is going to be where you will find which, and it is Circle of Hope. So, okay, yes, it was a Circle of Hope boutique. And it's important that you actually put boutique in the, um, the search because um, Circle of Hope is also uh, several different organizations. So you wanna make sure you're getting the boutique and not, you know, the nonprofit. So this bag was $79.99. Um, I did not originally get it from um, Circle of Hope because I wasn't sure if I really liked it. Um, and eventually um, I actually got it off of the Loungefly groups and for less than what it went for retail. And that was shipped. I think I paid like 65 shipped and that is amazing because this baby is brand new with tags as you can see. A beautiful print uh, and she has excellent placement so I was very happy um, it's a cream bag so of course I do recommend that you treat it with um, uh, I use the coach uh, leather treating spray um, because it actually has um, a waterproofing agent and it's not going to damage the bag because coach wouldn't do that because their bags are very 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 expensive so um, that's what I do for the uh, cream and the white bags. It does have side pockets as you can see, which I love because, and I don't know if you guys watched all of my videos or not, but there was a time when I twice this happened where I had lost a credit card or an ID card, like my driver's license. And it turned out to be in the side pocket of a bag that I had never actually worn. Like I just happened to have tucked it in there because I was, you know, doing something and but what would I do if I didn't have the side pockets, okay? That means that, that ID or that credit card would be lost. So they are key. Um, and of course we have the gold hardware. Um, I think it would have been nice to maybe change the trim up to be a different color just for some more uh, color contrast. I think that would have probably made the bag a little more cute. They could have gone with uh, the pink or the red or even the yellow just for some color contrast because it, it really is a lot of cream. But I do actually like it. And like I said, um, there's excellent placement. Um, there's only one cut off head right here where the plate is. And let's have a look inside and check out our lining. You guys know how I feel about lining. Oh, no, it's a custom lining. It's just very light. Okay, so you, you might not be able to see it because it is very pale. So it's like a, a very, very pale, like pink, I think. And then there's little roses inside that are white. Um, let's check for pockets. No internal pockets. <clears throat> it's okay. That's okay. Overall, it is a very beautiful bag and a bargain price, brand new with tags. Moving on. Okay, so next, uh, if I can reach it. Uh, got it. Okay, so um, I don't normally do the what I call soft tag bags but technically this is a Funko bag 
So, um, but we do know that it, it, it is made by Loungefly because Funko owns Loungefly. But, uh, so this is a Walmart exclusive. And I got this um, to go with an outfit and a pair of shoes that I just got. Um, yeah, so I saw this and I was like, I had to have it because believe it or not, this is actually a very cute print. Um, it is the little Funko heads, but the awesome thing is, with the exception um, of Mickey and Minnie, everybody else has a mouth, <laughs> which I think is funny. Look, everyone else has a mouth. Ducky, Ducky, sorry, Donald, Goofy, you know, Pluto, even, you know, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. They all have mouths, not Mickey and Minnie. So that's, that's like my only... Although, if you have paid attention, even with like the Loungefly hard tag bags, um, the pop bags, they don't have mouths, which is very off-putting. Off-putting. Um, like, I love my Buzz and Woody one, but then when someone pointed out to me that it didn't have a mouth, I was just like, huh, WTF. So, um, because this is a Funko bag, of course, it does not have the superior hardware. So, this is the what I call the janky zipper. And then, uh, it does have a plain black lining. And I do not believe it has, yeah, no internal pockets. I mean, it is a good size, though. Uh, and yeah. I will actually wear it. Uh, I just won't wear it a whole lot because, unfortunately, with, with the lower quality bags... Um, there, there's going to be rubbing, uh, and things like that. So you do have to be very careful. So black bottom, which is, you know, awesome. And like I said, I do love the print. Um, for a Funko bag, it's really cute. Okay. Now this next one, um, I, I took forever to get, cause at first I was like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. But then, um, after I saw it in person, it was a very different, um, thing. Uh, I, I do wish that there was a front pocket, but I think it might mess with the print if it did. Um, I love that it's that extremely soft vegan leather, um, by comparison to, um, you know, the Cloud Mickey that we just looked at. Um, this is a very, very soft, um, vegan leather and it's cream all over, which means you have to definitely treat this bag because you want to be careful not to get anything on it. Um, it has a really cute heart charm up here on the zipper pull. Um, and then there are these little heart brads in between the couples. Our metal plaque. It does have side pockets, as you can see. And now let's check out the liner. Um, this is actually a very elegant bag. Like I could probably find a really nice outfit to wear with it, you know? And I wouldn't feel weird at all. Okay, so inside it has like a lavender with some um, white and purple hearts and um okay so that makes sense since the hearts are like a they're a pink and a purple so that makes sense not bad uh, i'm very happy with the bag i'm glad i did eventually get it um and i i think i only paid like 85 something like that um and this one i believe i got off mercari i'm pretty like almost 100 percent sure i got this from mercari uh, and it's not often that you have a seller that does free shipping. So that was kind of nice as well. So the next two bags are kitty cat bags. Now I'm not a cat person in real life. Okay. But I do find cats hilarious, like in cartoons and animes and, and these are very cute bags. So what I've been made to understand is that these are highly sought after because these are from the original, um, lounge fly before it was purchased by Funko. So of course they have the, the heart tag, but they also have the, um, you know, the, the different tags, uh, versus the fat plaques. So, um, I don't know what inspired this bag, but, um, I do love, again, this is a, not as soft as the last one, but softer than the cloud Mickey's and it is a textured vegan leather. Um, so it's, it only has that weathered feel to it, but it's soft. And then on the inside, that is definitely an unusual lining. Um, it is balls of yarn and dead fish carcasses and paw prints. So um, that is definitely, definitely different. And let's see, is there a back pocket? No internal pockets. It does, however, have side pockets. I do think that it represents the kitty well. 
two side pocket, side pocket, and then we have our, um, I believe this is a, um, a taupe color, and this is like, um, almost puce, I think. Uh, but it is very nice. As you can see, it has the original lounge fly tag. But like I said, I've been told this is a highly sought after bag. So it's pretty cool that I got it in Vegas. Because I just came from a convention. Um, and then here is another kitty cat. This is the all over print kitty cat. Again, it has the the different um, plaque the, from the original lounge fly company um, with the heart. Uh, I do love that there's the, the black, um, you know, edging. Uh, with our you know silver hardware and it breaks up so much of the cream that is on the bag and we have our black straps and our original lounge fly tag and let's have a look inside oh so okay so this is very similar it just has paw prints and then the balls of yarn but you can definitely feel the quality in the bag you can absolutely and I do love the original tags and just so everyone knows I do have extras in case this is your grail so you can just drop me a, you know, a, a little comment in the comment section. Say, hey, Tracy, I've been really looking for that one. And I can uh, definitely make a deal. Okay, and next we have another oldie, but a goodie. So I had never seen this one before. And is the Hello Kitty Apple Crossbody with the uh, original heart plaque. This is I Love Hello Kitty. And then you open it up and there is a strap inside and it does have an internal pocket. And then of course the lining is apples that say, hello kitty. There you go. Um, and it's a cute little bag. Um, it looks bigger than it is because as you can see, it's very thin, um, but it's unusual and I had not seen this before. And the best part, Besides the fact that it has, you know, um, debossing, applique, and uh, embroidery, because, you know, I love all of these um, textural elements, uh, is it has a matching coin purse. And, you know, I love coin purses. So, I mean, it was really awesome to find the matching coin purse. And these were both new with tags. I love Hello Kitty. And I actually purchased these in Vegas at uh, the gift shop inside of Treasure Island. So that was pretty cool. Um, I guess they have a whole bunch of older bags they're trying to flush out um, to make room for the new ones. So if you're in Vegas, hey, stop by the gift shop at Treasure Island. You never know what you're going to find. So, so, so let's see. We've covered a lot of bags, a lot of bags. I'm going to save the best for last. So we're going to just do some uh, little accessories that I picked up. Okay, since we've already talked about the apple. So I just started um, understanding what the whole um, magic band thing was. Um, and they're actually very, um, very functional items. You know, I, I thought maybe they were just to get on rides or whatever. And to me, that didn't make any sense. You know, I mean, why would you spend so much money on something that, uh, you know, may not work anymore? Or, you know, the, what if they change their system for the fast pass or whatever? But no, the Magic Band actually, especially now that we're using the reservation system, the Magic Band actually can store your tickets, your passes, your pictures, and all that fabulous stuff on the Magic Band. So I picked up a few. So this one is Aladdin. Okay, and then I got Star Wars. And... Then this one is the Flower and Garden Festival from last year. So I like these. This was like a regular $34.99. Um, I actually got these from my personal shopper who goes to the outlet. And um, so I only paid $15 for each one of the Magic Bands, which is awesome. Um, that's like it's less than half price. Uh, and then oh, I got a thing for, for bag charms. So... You know, I gotta have something for all my bags. So this one has like the the paint on it. It has, um, oh my goodness, my range is not working. Uh, oh, Jiminy Cricket, sorry, Jiminy Cricket, Jiminy Cricket. Uh, and then there's the White Rabbit from Alice, and then the Harp. 
See, so I really, um, I love these. They are super cute. Uh, and I think I only pay like 10 bucks for those. And then um, I got, I got these, and it's funny because I actually thought they were two different ones, but it's the same one, and it's double-sided. So on one side, it's Chip and Dale, and on the other side, it's Mickey and Minnie. And that's totally okay because I actually have bags for these. Um, and again, it was a bargain price because uh, these are from the lunar year. So um, you may or may not still be able to get them. So that's pretty cool. I was very happy with that. Um, so... Let's have a quick talk about some exclusives before we finish up with Dopey. So, um, in case you didn't know, it looks like Ray is being made, the remake of the Ray bag from Star Wars is being made by Bibbidi. I think it's Bibbidi Boutique. I think, I think that's what it's called. And then um, on the 24th, Grotto Treasures is going to be um, putting their five Star Wars cosplay bags on for pre-sale. I will absolutely be getting those. You know that I will. You know that I will. And my guess, my guess, because if you checked out like uh, their hints, so my guess is it's the Bad Batch. That's just my guess. You know, Captain Rex for sure, Ahsoka. Um, I'm telling you, uh, there's... Commander Cody should definitely be in there. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But I'm excited for those. Yeah. Um, so now, and of course, you know mine. Mine's coming out on the 1st and the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. So um, now that we've covered all of those. Oh, I did want to show you guys the bag I've been using the most recently. Okay, and it's so full right now. So this bag got a lot of flack, okay? This is the Chibi Marvel uh, bag, and it is bigger than the others. Here, I'll show you a size comparison. So Mickey Clouds. There's a huge size difference. Um, and people are like, oh, it's not, it's not a mini. You know, um, why did they make it? Now, if you're a mom, this is the perfect mom bag. Like literally, this front pocket is big enough to fit the baby wipes and a bunch of other stuff in it. And then, of course, uh, you know, the, the big pocket, it fits everything, including my iPad Pro, which is like 13 inches. It's huge. Um, and I still am able to carry quite a lot in it. It's very heavy, and my straps are not giving way, as you can see. And, yes, I have not taken the tags off, even though I've been carrying it for like two weeks now. And it has side pockets, which are always amazing. And now let's have a look at the lining really quick since we're covering it um, it says Marvel in, uh, in black with a blue background and the only thing is I wish that there was uh, you know like see there's no pockets back here so there should be internal pockets that would that would probably be an improvement that I would enjoy and then on the back there's a giant Thanos so yeah so this, this is this is my bag of choice lately especially since I had to go to Vegas and I needed a carry on it was perfect all right we are, we're at that time now. It's time to look at Dopey. And give them our true once over. Was it worth all the hype? Was it worth all the crazy? And is it worth, whoo, a whopping five to $800 it is going for on everywhere. Not just eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, the works. So let's see. So here he is, the famous and beautiful Dopey Mag. Let me know if you're getting sick. Let me know if you're getting sick. Just kidding. So, of course, we have our plaque. Um, the cart portion, if you, well, you can't feel it through the screen, but if you could, you would feel that they made it feel like it really was made of wood. Um, it has an amazing texture. And then, of course, the gems. They are not just an applique. They actually have, like, a, a glitter that you can feel. Not just the C, but you can feel it. See if we can get close enough so you can kind of see it shimmer a little. There you go. See, let the light hit it just a bit. And then, of course, um, his eyes and his nose are appliqued onto the, the head, which is in itself another applique. It has debossing. Um, there's embroidery. Uh, so the, the trim is pink. And the straps in the back are purple. 
so there's a lot of color contrast going on here and dopey they did such a great job he looks amazing i mean like like he just popped right out of the movie oh and of course purple bottom and it does it looks like it just popped right out of the movie and let's have a look at our um lining oh it's like my best i mean my favorite i <laughs> my best so it's the dwarves on uh, like a purple backing and it's super super cute and, and you can see like a lot of detail uh and these are the characters so i i really like it it's, it's a beautiful bag um i definitely wish that i had gotten two so that i could hang one and wear one because this is one of those ones that i'm definitely going to want to wear i just don't know if i have the heart to do it if i have the heart to take it out and risk it getting damaged by crazy people Oh, I do love it though. I was so happy. Um, and then, uh, in case you didn't know, Pink All Mode is coming out with their own version of not dopey necessarily, but it's a uh, a cart with uh, you know the um, the coal, I believe, and uh, doors in it. So I am really looking forward to that one to add it to my collection. Um, I bought the pink pass, so I get to uh, get in there 24 hours before the con starts and uh, do some shopping. <laughs> Uh, you know, I really, I really do enjoy that. Um, and like I said, it is almost that time for box lunch money and hot cash. So, um, just some quick tips. If you are shopping online, most likely, uh, there's only going to be a few bags that you'll be able to use that on. Whereas if you go in store, you can still use your, um, your box lunch money. Most of the stores are really good about that, letting you use it. And then also let you stack discounts in store that you can't do on the internet. Um, if you're like me and you live like two and a half hours from a store, it's going to be virtually impossible. But you can utilize a fabulous personal shopper if you need. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the, that's the lowdown, the lowdown. Um, and if you haven't noticed, um, her universe which was purchased by hot topic they've been pumping out some really cute clothing items to go with the bags and i find that really exciting because you know i love to really pair everything up to have you know a set so um definitely check back uh i will try to do another video in a couple days because as you can see i do have some new bags back there that you haven't seen up close and personal so um until next time ladies and germs and remember, may the force be with you. Bye, guys.